Hello, true art believers, and welcome to the number one live art streamer in the world. This is Pearson here, and you uh, you are watching 100 Days of... I, I think I'm drawing, I think. 100 Days of Drawing. This is day 98. Whew, oh my gosh, almost done. And then hopefully I'll be doing more, but not in the same form that I've been doing lately. So like this is a different form. I've been doing this whole little drawing and using this i don't know if i like doing that right now um i'm going to take change it up and, and probably move to digital drawings and sketchbook work simply because it's very hard to do these drawings because of the finish them later on i hope you enjoy the drawing process i have a nice little dinosaur toy because it's dinosaur week little dinosaur toy look at this thing look at this it, i don't i don't even, i don't even this is not a real dinosaur is it it's like this is a fake fake dinosaur it's so fake raw 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 anyways it's it's the toy I'm going to be using today, and I'm going to be working on it for roughly 30 minutes. I hope you enjoy the drawing process. Let's begin before it gets even later than it already is. Bye. All right, my friends, here we go. Late night, late night drawing. Here it is. Here it is. We got it. I got to set the... Oh, no. There we go. There we go. I am ready to go. Ready to go, friends. Sorry, it took me a little bit. There we go. Just took me a little bit. Now I got to get my uh, my dinosaur set up here. I didn't spend a moment. I really didn't spend any time working on like setting up the light source and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be... There we go. All right. Sorry, it's been taking me a little bit longer than normal. It's a late after hour session of drawing and it's something I'm not normally used to doing at this time. I've done it a handful of times because I've been trying my best to maintain the daily drawing schedule. And here I am. So this toy is a little bit odd. Um, it's like a, it's actually, the difference between this toy and the other toys I've been drawing with is like the the um, the angles. So all uh, from the previous drawings, uh, you saw how how I structured my structuring all my structuring all my dinosaurs in this kind of like this shape here. This one's going to be different. This one's going to be more of a reverse. It's almost going to be flipped. It's almost going to be like a giant triangle. So we're going to try to get that kind of played out here. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble because I decided to change the angle of the camera, much to my uh, dissatisfaction, because I just can't seem to get a, perf a correct spot for this camera without it being a sharp angle, because the, the camera's looking down, and I, I've been trying to my darnest to figure out a place to put it, but every time I get it closer to my head, I just bump it, and I just can't have that happen. So, this is something... This is like the the shape of the dinosaurs angle here we're gonna we're going to do something a little bit different i want the foot to be right here so that's like the front foot right here if you can see it you can't even see it it's in the very bottom like uh, i really need to fix this camera angle i don't know what to do folks i've been like trying my best to really figure out a way to draw uh do this live stream with a camera uh, and have a a proper camera angle but i just seemingly i just can't get it i just can't get it i've been trying my best and it just it's not working out it's very frustrating so this is going to be a, a a different way of doing um these dinosaurs because this one is like this one's just far out I'm going to struggle with this one for a bit. I actually think I'm going to struggle quite a bit with it. Uh, I already can tell because it's like a, 
it's different than all my other dinosaurs. So I'm gonna have to like, maybe later on, hello, hello, uh, later on, think about what I'm gonna be doing with it or how I'm gonna fix, uh, like, how I'm going to make it work. So we're gonna, just gonna start, okay? We're gonna start by uh, hacking away shapes. First things first, we're gonna hack away shapes and we're gonna see what happens with it. You know, I'm gonna hack away shapes and in, in the angles that I think these the dinosaur is at, uh, the the general shape of the the body that I have here. Again, if you saw the toy, it's kind of like a it's really really weird. Oh, but you know, it is what it is. And we're just gonna see what we need to do. Already, I already know that the the head. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna place this head. I think I'm gonna have to move the tail a little bit over here and move the head closer to center. It's got this large head. The head is about the size of the actual torso. So like the head and the torso are like relatively the same like size on the. Uh, on the body on the on the the toy itself so that's kind of weird so maybe we're gonna kind of jump into it i am going to struggle with this one mainly i think the reason why is well i'm tired i'm really really tired um this is probably the second latest live stream that i had to do my other one was 3 a.m in the morning and that did not turn out well. I was barely awake. Um, so I'm going to struggle with this one a bit because um, it's new. And the, 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 the scale of it, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to fit this into the, the picture plane here. Um, I might have to do a lot of adjusting like really because the the head it's got this you know what i'm gonna go a different route i don't think the the uh the sawing away sections is helping me at this point so i'm probably gonna have to do a little bit more um i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna try getting what i think the relative size of the the dinosaur's head is like what the, the size of the dinosaur's head what its head size is, I guess. And I'm going to go from there and I'm going to be a little bit more sketchy with it. So the reason why I'm having trouble, having trouble with it is because like it doesn't have, it's not as angular and it's got these eyes. So it's got like, it's like got a, it's like one of those cartoons where they, where they like put, it's like a, how they do birds and they give like, <laughs> they give a, you know, silly eyes on top. So it's like this, this is not a, a real dinosaur based off of like another dinosaur. This is just like, let's make a cartoon like dinosaur with weird looking eyes that's staring up into the sky. So I'm gonna do something like that. Um, probably need to bring that out. So it's, as I was saying, it's head. Literally, this head is about the size of the body, which is why I'm, I'm struggling a bit working on it. Um, and again, I'm also talking and I'm trying to articulate what I'm thinking, but right now, it's just coming out as a giant, giant, just a bunch of jargon and mess. It's not really making any sense. I can always say, though, if I think about it, like, I don't really know if a lot of my thoughts are very coherent at anyways so there's days that I, I i'm like struggling to like stream a a uh a a, uh, a bunch of sentences together right um and partially maybe because i i don't know like like what not that, not that i don't know what i'm thinking but like i guess i don't know what i'm thinking about <laughs> I 
I guess it's kind of like where when you're um you're fo you're forced to uh, do two things at once, and you're like, oh, you got to talk and draw. So that as you can see, the head's really large. Um, the back of this dinosaur's head is is it's actually quite high. It's it's uh. It happens to be like right the back of the like his back, the arch of this dinosaur's back, kind of intersects through the the top of his eye, not like cuts through it, but like vertigo horizontal line, it, it cuts through. So it's a weird shape, and I don't think I'm getting it right because I think I'm um. I think I got the um, the angle of the head wrong. There you go, something like that, a little bit better. And then we're gonna bring this down right here. So as you can see already, it's kind of weird. It's got like maybe this is a Velociraptor or like some cartoon version of a Velociraptor or something. I don't know. Um, I think I've stated this before. I always find it. I always struggle with like weird proportions. You know like weird character like proportions on imaginary characters that always seems so weird to me to do something like that so i'm um this is going to be kind of a struggle for me so if i do a, a a um a vertical uh test and what that is is you're imagining a, a vertical line cutting through the uh, a certain part of the body and if I look at the, uh, do a vertical test on the the um, dinosaur on the edge of his eye here, um, it's the the back of its leg is the shin of its leg just kind of barely goes through here. So I need to move that whole leg all the way more to the left. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have enough room for a bigger canvas. I'm 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 um I'm naturally I naturally draw larger than normal. So there's that. Those are that's kind of like a struggle, I guess. So I gotta get this. And this this angle, the tail is weird. Um it looks like the tail arches up. We're just gonna just like with all these dinosaur to toys, I'm gonna push the tail in because norm, because probably the tail would actually come off the paper or get really close to the edge. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. Um, again, as I was saying, these these legs are weird. They're weird looking. <laughs> they don't make sense. So it's I it, it's almost like the legs. I can't tell if they're straight up and down or they're at a slight angle. I'm gonna go at a slight angle here. Yeah. So there's that. Um, wow, I'm way way behind. Now the feet are really big. I'm seeing the feet feet geez wow the feet are really close to the the size of the head almost they're like they're giant feet so uh let's do yep giant feet so i'm going a different route if you notice in these light these vertical lines these horizontal lines um what i'm doing that doing is basically finding relationships uh, uh, vertical and horizontal relationships in the in, in the object because I the 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 um, the the other method where I was where you saw me kind of hacking away out of the form it I just can't seem to get it with this form because there's so much like weird stuff occurring it's not as um, it's not as simple as the other dinosaurs like this dinos other dinosaurs were not like they're not like they were simple but like this one has really a lot of exaggerated forms here and that those exaggerated exaggerated forms are are kind of difficult to render you know they're kind of like 
this makes no sense. Do I do I keep drawing the the forms as is? So I'm just gonna give the dinosaur like block feet right now. Um, of course they're not block feet. They're um, the dinosaur has some claws. Whoa. Velociraptor like character. I almost want to give my eyebrows like this thing. Like before. Because oh. they don't have. The thing is that it doesn't have those eyebrows. <laughs> so it's got these really big feet. This one really big foot. And the, there's a foot right behind it. Right? Like literally right behind. Kind of like in a contrapposto pose. And it starts like right around the the ankle starts pretty close to the top of the close to the knee. And then the the okay, we're gonna bring that toe out closer here. Yeah, I think that's somewhere right around there. It's actually yeah, it needs to go farther. It's going past. It's go. It goes past this foot. The um the angle. Yeah, so it's got these weird, it's got really big feet, really small torso. And it's gonna, we're gonna uh, draw what I think the torso looks like um, because I can't pick up the toy and kind of move it around. What I probably should do is before I do these toy, draw these toys, maybe like, l like pick them up and like just look at the form, you know, and really get a feel what those those shapes are in, in three dimensions and then go from there so it's got um the di like the weird dinosaur characters got like this these like well it's you would call them arms but they're you could you could argue that they're really not so he's got um he's got like round paws he's got like a round looking paw like paw right here it's like a round paw with what looks like two hoofs little hoof parts like little bitty or their fingers they could be like hoofs or fingers whatever whatever the sculptor was thinking when they made this the 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 base shape or the the toy made this toy like i'm going to give this dinosaur some hooves or fingers and the boss is like are they hooves or fingers i don't know they could be either it doesn't matter it's for a child <laughs> like and I'm like fair enough and then there's um right behind is where the second hand is and it's it's basically the same thing but only a little bit lower and it's kind of like a ball type shape with a uh, maybe like another set of hoofs like right here i don't really know it's, it's doing its thing it's doing its uh so I'm really just excited about my next uh, um, 900 days. I really can't wait to do it because it's going to be sketchbook work and it's going to be done digitally. So like I don't have to like when, when I get done with my 30 minutes, I'll uh, if I don't have to work, I don't I won't have to work on them any longer. Like these drawings, I spend a couple hours after the fact because I they're not done and I want them to be semi done before I move on. So I'm spending like another hour and a half or more on these drawings. And I was like, it's getting, it was getting to the point where I was, I'm not getting mu much else done outside of these drawings, you know? And I'm very grateful that I actually got them done, but like it's, it was, it was a struggle to say the least to actually kind of get these drawings into a, a, a level of completion before I had to do my next drawing uh, because I was struggling to get those uh, get the drawing with enough details that I can move on and I felt I felt comfortable stopping the drawing you know and that usually takes another uh, a bunch of hours and um, so my next hundred days will be a lot easier uh, because I'll just be playing around on digital media and in my sketchbook and whatever I don't finish my sketchbook that time, I can always work on it um, again the next day. So I'll like, I'll add a little bit more to that page. So 
I think what will the, like the goal will be to like finish five sketchbooks or something like that, or or two sketchbooks. I don't know what I could finish in a uh, hundred days if I drew in a sketchbook every other weekend, every other week. My plan is to do like a like have a sketchbook week every other week or something like that, or once a month, and then see what happens from there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some educational uh, videos, some some live streams teaching people how to do like perspective. Um, so I think that'd be kind of fun because uh, that's that type of like drawing is really formulaic. It's really step by step. It's you with this type of drawing, you know, it, it's it's based. It's good to know, but it's also like personal preference. Like a, it depends on the individual. Some people like this this technique. You know, as I as I was saying, like it's good to have different techniques and abilities um when working on these drawings so like before i was doing that like kind of getting the general abstract shape and kind of cutting out the forms and i found that it wasn't working on this mainly because it, there's just too many weird shapes and proportions for me and so i went a different route which i i did vertical and horizontal measurements to kind of get the actual shape of this piece so there's there's a lot of a variety and way you can approach your drawing that um you know I, I guess is not really spoken much so these eyes i could um i could in theory probably spend a good 10 15 minutes just playing around with where these eyes are where like where specifically these eyes are at you know so it's got like he's got like a it's supposed to be a an iris i don't know i don't know eye anatomy don't don't lay off me will you no sometimes i think i'll make i make like no sense when i'm doing these drawings i think because all the the blood is rushing towards my drawing of like process and dot towards like English. <laughs> but then again, I've certain I've heard some like crazy stuff that made no sense from other people. So it's not like it's abnormal for me to make no sense. That doesn't make any sense. Perhaps when I'm doing these when I'm kind of like when I'm drawing and I'm doing these like these exercises and all this stuff what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the perfect like language for it and it takes like a lot of stumbling to really articulate the 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 concepts that I'm trying to think about or what's happening in my mind because uh, in essence sometimes when I'm drawing I'm actually I'm not I'm not always like this is how you draw this every time you know i'm not one of those master artists that can just like s s like regurgitate like art and that's amazing when you see some of those people that can do that kind of stuff they're like how'd you do that i don't know i don't know how i did it i just I just you know i saw the thing and i drew the thing that i saw and then there we go and that's amazing when i see that kind of work they don't make really good teachers because they don't really know how they're doing the things that they're doing. They just are doing them, you know, you know, they never really, I guess they probably never made a lot of mistakes, so they don't know what to, what kind of things to address to, um, a person who's just learning. Anyways, it's looking pretty good. You know, it's not bad. It's we got we got we finally kind of got this in a, a an area that I like it at. You know, it's loose enough. But now I'm at a state where I can start defining those forms and adding volume and writing a book writing a book I don't, I don't know I, I thought about it it's like i want to i want to like simple children's books 
Um, but maybe writing a, a, an art book. I don't know if I'm well versed enough in some of these things. I've thought about doing it I, uh, on certain, in certain areas. I've thought about writing some some literature, but it, it'd take me some time. I'd have to like really write like I'd really have to wrap my head around my thoughts and really understand what I'm trying to like what my goal would be. I mean, sometimes I think, well, I'm not skilled enough to be a writer. Well, you know, it it would be something to, to, to consider. I'd have to like, I'd have to develop. It would have to be like, it'd be more like a philosophy of, of drawing than actually drawing because um, there is no like, correct way right but there's class like, the, the correction there is a like classical way of drawing that are that i do appreciate and admire and maybe in the future I'd, I'd like to to learn some of that from the masters but when you look at the classical work it's it's like anyone who does it it looks like every other person's classical work it's it's so it's so formulaic and it's so regimented but you it's a really good skill to have i think i think that'd be something i don't know it'd have to be, i'd have to think about that you know I, i'm gonna write that down thank you i'm gonna think about that and see what i would have to do i don't know if i could i don't know if i had time I, i'm constantly doing like 100 days of drawing i'm so busy drawing that i don't have time to write Hence why I'm doing this so late at night. So what I'm doing basically is I'm just kind of doing like, I'm just doing, um, I'm just slowly tightening up the forms, but I'm also kind of uh, cell shading. And that's like, um, I guess the simplest thing is, let's say you have a cylinder, right? And, and you're just going to, make that cylinder into two tones light and dark and so by doing that you make the cylinder feel more dimensional so that's what i'm doing right here is i'm i'm taking i'm just cell shading and i'm just addressing light and dark i'm not going any like i'm not addressing oh is this how dark this is compared to another spot there might be some of that involved uh, in time, as you, as you can kind of see, I've already started a little bit, but it's not like, hey, this is going to be, this is, uh, we're going to go really into the, the uh, we're going to go really micro into the, uh, the details here, you know. I really need to figure out a way to make this camera this camera situation work because I just can't seem to get it. Like I saw uh, another video of a person doing a, a live stream, and I was like, "Man, how did that person get that camera?" I think it's not just it's not just the camera angle. I think it's the camera itself. Uh, it's it's certain cameras uh, automatically def by default kind of. Um, zoom in a little bit or they don't have as as wide of an as an aperture or like angle as other cameras so i think this camera has a more of a narrow narrow like uh scope range so like it's 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 like set at a zoom or something i don't know yet uh, but i think it might be partially the camera that's not to blame but definitely affecting the uh the range that you can see things so uh this kind of i think this this dinosaur's got like these this um uh, kind of like chicken knuckle feet it's hard to really define what they are they're kind of like just little concentric 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 rings you know And so that's what they are, just like concentric rings, I guess. 
like little chicken feet. Yeah, buddy. I'm not. I didn't do that correct right here. I suck at drawing claws, too. Yeah, so this is kind of weird. It could be, what could be a miniature? What could be a miniature? What am I, oh, a miniature what? So I'm just gonna, just gonna draw this right here, just to finish it. This is like a toucan bird, I guess. We're gonna, maybe, maybe not. No, that's terrible. It looks like a character from the regular show. Is it the regular show? I don't know. Do they have is? Is that what they call it? It's the regular show with the uh, the uh, the raccoon, or is it a squirrel character and like the blue bird? I remember, I remember, I remember watching that show, and I think it was hilarious. They had that uh, that clear uh, parody off of that video game guy that was. Um, who was who was caught cheating on Pac-Man or something, or at least that's what that's what they claim. I don't know. I know that they they, they made fun of him, um, or they made like a um, <laughs> I don't remember the character. He sued he sued the the, the the creators of the show because they made a character that was basically a giant head with a a beard, a floating head, a floating bearded head guy whose arms and legs came out of the beard. And they're set there. He sued the guy, uh, the, 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 like the company, the creators. Cause like, it's like a, this is a likeness of me. He didn't win. Needless to say. Oh, a short book. A mini book, like an ebook. I want to do like ebooks would be kind of cool to do. I, I would have to figure out something like that. Maybe like an ebook that I, I do like an ebook that would start off as like I'd sell like a chapter for like nothing, you know, and then eventually maybe it will, uh, I'll uh, make it to a full book or something. I don't know. I I I have to sit down and think about it. It's something that would be kind of cool to do, and definitely be kind of something to brag about. Uh, I wrote a book. I wrote a book, dude. Dude, stop calling me, dude, friend. So he's got these ridges right here, and I'm not gonna count them. I'm just gonna say that they're. I'm just gonna do like these <laughs> these generic ridges on his back. Uh, Cause it's just gonna it's just gonna be easier that way. And there's his head. And I think we are about done. And I'm gonna spend maybe I'm gonna do it for I'm gonna work on it for six more minutes. I'm not gonna get much done in those six minutes. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm not gonna get much done. Let's get this shadow in here. Maybe what we're gonna do is gonna make the foot one tone in the background I'm not going to define everything right now simply because it's late and when I come back to it tomorrow the the light is going to change everything so because I'm because of that I'm not going to work I'm not going to really do a lot of like hard defined lines because I am going to work on this tomorrow and the light's going to change the way a lot of what I'm seeing and I'm going to see some details I didn't see before etc 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 
I didn't get this foot right, but I'm not too worried about it. The dinosaur has like a, um, I think what I need to start doing is really, con really slowing down my nervous tick when I'm drawing really slow down and choose the words a little bit more wisely because often I make a fool of myself so maybe I'll just have to slow down and uh, be a little bit more considerate of what I'm thinking of um, I think the reason why I, I tend to go a little bit like a mile a second is because uh, at the beginning of the drawing, there you're in the I'm in this phase where I'm um, really I'm in a phase where a lot of decisions are being made in a very short amount of time. And because decisions are being made at a very short amount of time, I'm um, I'm often like retracting or making no sense with what I'm thinking or what I'm saying about the drawing because there's a lot of of information that I'm changing almost every second, you know, especially at the beginning of this this drawing where I was trying to articulate. Um, what I was doing before with previous drawings was I was doing more of a reductive kind of like sculpture, like treating the drawing as if it's a sculpture and I'm s carving out sections. Uh, but I was finding in like almost within like less than five minutes that that was just not going to work. Um, so I had to go pursue a different avenue with this drawing um you know i had to pursue a different way of seeing the forms that i think were more suitable for me and oftentimes when i'm going through this this process of of reformulation i make a lot of I articulate a lot of the the er errors, so I I tend to make a fool of myself a lot. So maybe I'm going to slow down the. Yeah, uh, that that could be also that also I'm I'm not used to having uh, conversations with individuals who are interested in the work, and I I often have to turn turn my back around to see if anyone's talking. Because I don't want to ignore anyone if they have any questions, too. So I, you know, I, I'm more than happy to kind of talk about what I'm thinking about and, you know, talk about art in general. But, you know, I, I have to stop and kind of turn around because I'm facing away from the drawing or uh, from this computer screen. And that, um, that stop that brief stop can throw my concentration to the wayside. It's not a bad thing. I'm not really complaining about it. It's actually, I'm, I'm very happy that I, that I have people interested in what I'm doing. It took, uh, it did take, um, it did take, uh, what, like up to like 95, it took 95 live streams consecutively for that to happen. Here's something funny. This drove me bananas. I uh, so I'm in like some art groups, you know, and they'll post they'll post uh, the 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 art groups is like uh, how they're doing with their art business and and how they're getting um, getting their uh, their artwork to people that really like their work. And one person's like, I just launched my website. A week ago and I have 8,000 I just and and I got and and, and in that time frame I've got 8,000 followers 
and and no sales. I didn't sell anything. I'm like, yeah, um, you're doing really, really good. I just wanted to say I've, for the past three months, live streamed drawing for anywhere from 30 minutes to, an, to two hours and acquired two extra followers on, on Twitch and five on YouTube. I mean, it's really hard. It's actually, it's like, um, if anyone's familiar, familiar with, with destiny, the video game, when it first came out, it was notoriously, uh, it was known to be notorious for like on leveling up. Like it was super hard to level up. Like, because of the way that the the loot drops worked uh for some odd reason at the time when they first started the only way you got really really good equipment and really leveled yourself up was if you could go in a raid and um the raiding system at the time was very it was very unorganized it was hard to find people that uh, uh were really good or if it was hard to find a good group of people um and that's when they when they started like that's when they got a little bit more organized and you can go on reddit and all that kind of stuff you, there was groups being made where you could find a group of people that were there that are wanting to uh uh play but before it was super hard to like get in a group and it was super hard to level up um so it was very hard to they called it it was like grinding i guess they called it grinding because you're just you're just grinding at the game and you're just like really trying you were spending hours and hours only to like level up a little bit um because the leveling up system was weird you you don't have you don't just level up anymore like you leveled up to like level 28 or something and then and then uh the rest of the the level up actually was based on your gear so what kind of gear you had made you more powerful um so like i'm not i'm not worried about someone who spent who's work who's uh who's posted who's only been on like who's opened their 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 website a week in a week and they've got eight thousand followers i think that's a like they've acquired eight thousand followers and like in a blink of an eye right um but the fact that they're, they're already kind of like complaining about like, I know there's no such thing as an overnight success. I'm like, hey there, I think that is an overnight success. Success. You know how hard it is to get 8,000 followers in a week? Um, very hard. <laughs> uh, what, what do you think you are? Like PewDiePie or something? I don't know. Or Mr. Beast? Or like... <laughs> yeah what do you think who do you think you are like, like unless you're like those guys you know makes sense right but i thought that was kind of funny so like i just i wanted to 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 say something but i didn't know of a way to say say it kindly not like I was trying to be mean or anything. I was just I just wanted to give the person context. I'd be like, listen, I've been uh, uh, like I worked really hard and uh, to to uh, put out content for people, and I'm not really expecting like eight thousand followers or anything like that. Um, and I, I and I don't. It's not like I'm asking for people to to follow, but you know, I, I hope that people appreciate uh, what I have to say and the drawings that I'm doing, and uh, hopefully there's something that comes out of it. Something. Yes, the algorithm is not kind. The algorithm is not kind. That is tr that is true. You know, yeah, it's weird. It's weird how it works. You know, and I'm not worried about that because I played Destiny and I was. <laughs> I'm not worried about not getting followers uh, uh, for uh, how much time I put in because I played Destiny and uh, I played Destiny when it was really hard to level up and so <laughs> I'm not I'm not too worried about it anymore. Uh, I don't know what it's like to level up now, but I uh, they've they tw they've they've tweaked it quite a bit and it became easier. But before, gosh, man, like you would have to like just you would have to like loot farm to find like 
uh, something that would bring up your light level by like one point, and that would take hours and hours and hours and hours. And you're like, dude, this sucks. And then I'd see like people, uh, I would see art- articles saying like, oh, Destiny is good again. I'm like, man, come on. Although I think the reason why they had problems is, I think the um, the creators of the game didn't have as much um, like say in what they wanted to do with the game. I think they probably at the at the beginning probably had mo- in mind to create it kind of like Fortnite, where it was like you you uh it was like a free game it's free now and then you could like get dlc content you know um i'm pretty sure they kind of pissed off a lot of people that bought the game and then they made all the new expansions free you know i bought like when I bought Destiny 2, they they I bought like the package for like the next two expansions, but now like that those expansions are free as well. I'm like, man, can I get like a refund or something? You know? <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, I don't I wouldn't I don't do anything with the followers. Well, I mean, <laughs> correction, I do do. <laughs> this is gonna sound bad, like. I love doing it. Um, I'm not doing it to acquire massive followers. Um, I don't know of a way to explain this that comes off as is weird. Uh, the followers is a, a byproduct of the hard work, I guess. You know. If I were to do if I were trying to if I were trying to acquire followers, I'd probably just look at all the popular artists and do what they're doing. I would, and, and like the, the artists that have 1.5 million followers or more like, Oh, well this person's doing a lot of manga. And that, that's what a lot that really, what it boils down to is like that, that really popular theme stuff. You know, I do a lot more, po- I would do a lot more pop, pop culture artwork. You know, I would be referencing more anime, more manga, more comic books. I would definitely do a lot more drawings of Marvel characters you know, I'll do like time lapse, time lapse show uh, like videos of like me drawing Clark Kent or Superman or Wolverine or Thanos or Spider Man. You know that that's really where it's at. But you know what? There's enough of those out there. And um, when I draw in the comic style, I just get angry because of this. Not angry, but um, frustrated because it's like there's there's kind of like rules to it. You know, there's like a, there's like rules in that type of genre of work. And, you know, you, you wouldn't, you, you won't in, in that type of genre of work, you don't see vertical lines like this. You're not going to, this type of like sketching is not really wanted, you know, in that type of artwork. So I, I typically, that's why I don't really draw in that manner. It's because it's kind of, it's actually, it's not that fun. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. So maybe I should start drawing more Thanos and Avengers characters. Although I did I did, I did, did want to do that at one point. You know, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a few of those. But I, I want to do it because I want to do it, not because I want to acquire uh, followers. You know... But I think that's it for today. I really, I went a lot longer than I probably should have. Um, but I was, I was getting, I was getting some good conversations, and people were. Uh, there was some um, interaction happening in the in the chat, so I felt that it'd be nice to kind of at least uh, uh, respond and, and 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 talk to everyone that was that were was asking me questions. So, and I was getting kind of into it. I'm having my second wind. You know, whoa, it's so late. It's so late. Ugh. (sighs) 
Yeah, doing that that popular stuff. Cause because what you're doing is you're not doing you're you're not you are not making work uh you're making work for your for other people and um you know i guess i once heard the story um about an artist um who's who's really successful right now and this was years years back and he was really successful and he, and he was doing this one thing this one specific like thing and he told a friend of his he's like i'm just tired I'm just tired of painting these things. I'm just tired of painting like this. I don't want to, I want to do something different. And his friend was like, are you kidding me? You need to keep doing this, you know? And because that's what the artist is known for. You get known to do, you get, you get kind of typecasted in this one genre of art and it's hard to break out, you know? So like this dude, he can't do really anything differently now. So if you ever check out, I, I don't, I don't want to name names. But, uh, you know, they, they can't do any di anything differently. So, like, maybe that's another thing about, like, the, the, the artists that make it really well. They do really well um, doing a lot of popular culture stuff. You know, like, pop, pop culture references and such. If they start, if they change the, what they're doing, they'll, uh, the, I, I think people won't be as, as, um, they won't be as interested because they want people are people like people like familiar familiarity. They want to be comfortable. They like, they like seeing people like they like seeing the same thing over and over again from the same person, but people change, you know, they, so like this artist, he didn't want to keep make painting the same thing over and over again, but he, he, he's still doing the same thing. You know, he hasn't, he hasn't done anything differently. It's, it's, if you like, you know, that that's that artist that's doing that thing. Um, so like you can, if you, if you, if you do that type of stuff, you can get, get kind of trapped sometimes, you know, you can get kind of trapped in that, that, um, your own, like your own, like art coffin, I guess, you know? Well, anyways, I, I, I've, uh, it's been real fun, everyone. I, I probably should get going. It's, it's, it's really late. I'm going to, I have to wake up. If I follow what I'm doing, um, it is, it is true. It, you, you get a, you kind of, what was it like? Anyone, if, if you're, if you're, if you under, if you know the first Batman movie with Michael Keaton, he did Batman one and two. And uh, he was asked to do the third one, but he didn't want to. He he t he turned it down because he didn't want to be um, typecast as as Batman. Like he didn't want to be the person that just does Batman. Like he wanted to pursue other uh, characters. Like, uh, but I think he's going to be in the new Flash movie. I heard something. That he's going. I, I heard that he's going to be in the like new Flash movie. That's going to be pretty cool. He's gonna be like in the the uh, multiverse in DC. Um, yeah, but anyways, I I I really 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 have to get going. It's it's way past my bedtime. I um I um what is it? Let me slow down. Let's let's slow this down for a second. I have to wake up. If I wake up the time that I want to wake up, I have to wake up in like four hours or less than four hours. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go. <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to go. That might not go too well. That might not go too well at all. Hey, thank you. Thank you again. I'm so happy that, um, you enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing them. Um, I, I got at least two more days. So, um, it's actually going to be another one today because, Technically, this live stream was supposed to be done yesterday, but I didn't get home until almost midnight. And so, you know, I'm going to do another one either later today or uh, around the same time. Not that I want to do that. It's just how how my time schedule is kind of 
uh, lining up. But thank you so much, everyone. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Had a good conversation. I uh, will definitely try to have try to think about how I'm going to plan my um, the way that I talk through my thoughts. Hopefully, they they made sense to to some extent. Anyways, I uh, I'm making no sense now. It's I'm just what was it like? They call it like slap happy. Where you 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 make no sense. Well, that's where I'm at, everyone. I'm making no sense. At least that like the the only thing that makes sense is that I'm making no sense. Anyways, I I gotta get going. I hope you have a wonderful night. Get some sleep, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Pearson out. Where is the outro? I gotta find it. Where is it? There's the outro. Good night, everyone.